say they young, but we ain't never heard of you. These niggas say they young, but we ain't never heard of you. What a dooski son doulas, it's your boy YFG on Blog TV, coming straight out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Now if you guys don't know, the Oklahoma City Thunder will be moving on to the Western Conference Finals after defeating the Los Angeles Lakers 106-90. to Yes, my Los Angeles Lakers is now eliminated out the playoffs. I kind of expected it, if you guys watch my um, playoff video, my predictions, I said that Oklahoma City Thunder were actually win 4-2, but I was wrong. You know, the Los Angeles Lakers, they gave up three crucial games. They had three games where they should have been up actually three games to one, but in the fourth quarter, they blew it. They couldn't keep their steam, and it looked like they got fatigued. Kobe Bryant wasn't the same Kobe Bryant that I always known to see him play because I feel like that he had to do so much work in the first three quarters that when it came down to fourth quarter he couldn't really keep it up and we get, and we all know that you know Kobe Bryant normally is a good closer now over the past couple of years he hasn't been closing like normal but in the playoffs he still would do something in the fourth quarter now moving on so the OK City Thunder they will be playing the San Antonio Spurs in the Western Conference Finals and I'm ready for this matchup I think it's gonna be a great series and um, I will let you guys know who I think will win in my next video now the OKC Th the Oklahoma City Thunder I feel like over the next couple of years they're gonna be the new Los Angeles Lakers of the West the dominant team who used to you know, you guys know the Los Angeles Lakers history. You should dominate the West. I feel like Oklahoma City Thunder, they will be that team in the next few years. So get ready for the young Thunder to keep doing some damage. Now, as far as my Lakers, what do you guys think the Lakers organization is going to do? Are they going to trade Pau Gasol? Are they going to get rid of Andrew Bynum? Are they going to get rid of Ron Artest, Sessions? Everybody. The coach, everybody. Now, me personally... I feel like, and I think everybody else probably feel like that they're going to get rid of Pal Gasol. I mean, they was already trying to get rid of him, but the commissioner would not let it happen. You know, I feel like, you know, Pal Gasol, he, you know, he had a great run with the Lakers. You know, he, he helped the Lakers out a lot. I'm not going to sit here and act like he didn't help the Lakers out a lot. But for some reason, he just came up so short in this playoffs and even last year playoffs. Like, so I feel like they need to get rid of him and try to get some good pieces back for him. Now the Lakers, they really, really do need some shooters. They need some people who can come off the bench or even start and just can shoot and not afraid to shoot because that is what killed the Lakers over the past two years was death on the bench and just no three-point shooting at all. I mean, Kobe Bryant is pretty much the only one who can shoot it and he hasn't been shooting it well. You know, we all know that. But you know, they just need to get some good pieces. I'm pretty sure Mike Brown's going to come back, give this man a chance to have an offseason to put in his system or what he wants to do. Now, Andrew Bynum. As much as I love Andrew Bynum, I feel like he is like the second best center. But also, I feel like he needs to work on a couple things. He needs to mature more and act like he cares and be engaged in games all the time. I mean, when this dude is dominant, this dude is, is, is unstoppable. But then he had a moments where he just he just don't look engaged. Now it could be because you know Kobe Bryant is still a star player. He still got to get his shots off and all that. It could be that. Who knows? But there's no way that this dude should not be dominant all the time. I mean, now, I don't know if the Lakers is going to want to keep him because now he's going to want a big contract. You know, he had a great season. He didn't get hurt, and that's good. He's going to want a great contract. He may want $80, $70, $80 million. Who knows? Now, I don't know if the Lakers is going to pay that. But if they do, if they do decide to keep him, then it is obvious they are going to build around him from the years to come. Because, you know, Kobe Bryant's getting older. He'll be 34 in August. Not saying that he's going to lose a step. But I don't know if he's going to be able to average 20-something plus points a game anymore. Maybe 22. Who knows? Depending on how his body is. But we all know that it's coming down to an end for Kobe Bryant. So they're looking to build for the future more, you know, more likely. And I think if they do keep Andrew Bynum, they're going to start with him and just hope and pray that, you know, he doesn't get injured and he, um, you know, still get better in the offseason. Because there's a few things that he still can work on. We know that. But, um... Like I said, I think a lot of players is going to be gone. There's going to be a big change in L.A. It's going to be a new team. But who knows with all the money? We don't even know. You know, I know the money issue, so I don't really know what they're going to do as far as that. But 
I do know this. They need to rebuild and rebuild and rebuild and come back strong next season. I just hope and pray that they don't keep the same damn team together. Because they keep the same team together and don't try to go out and get no, if not another star player like a D. Williams. I feel like Darren Williams would be great. Or they don't just get some, you know, some key pieces, some players who can play and not afraid to shoot the ball. Then the Lakers are going to be dead again. You know, they're not going to go nowhere again. So, you guys let me know what you think the Los Angeles Lakers would do. Do you think they're going to keep the same players? Do you think they're going to make some big changes? Will Andrew Bynum be back? Who knows? But you guys comment, subscribe, favorite, do all that good shit. If not, who cares? I still love y'all. Peace. I'm here now, you old news Nursing home rappers, who the hell is hyping dudes? Ten years plus, without one hit It's time to change your hustle up, it's time to go legit I'm three years strong, my buzz big as precious The only thing I'm thinking about is Benz, Beam, Alexis When should I cop? Nah, fuck them all I'd rather hop up in that Chevy right above the law Somebody must have died If I ain't on your bitches, man, somebody must have lied If I ain't